Hello there, a big welcome to our new members. Do you need everything and anything about private manipulation? You're on the right channel. Please subscribe. I am Uluwa Kolakene, your tutor for this module. Let's get into why we're here. Origami spiral layout sleeve. Here's, a, here's an image of what we will be working on, although the curls will be going in the opposite direction. What you require to be able to achieve this is listed, is listed right there. Let's get started. Creating a center point. Because I call the center point the woman, it has to be in the middle of your sleep block. It can be anywhere. Just identify a point where you want to use as a point where every other thing goes around more like a pivot so draw your spiral lines you can decide to do free and and you can decide to use your french curve set of curves or um, pattern master whichever one you decide to do is fine so number them either numerical or alphabetic whichever one is convenient for you is fine so notice the outer curve, we are adding just one centimeter, while the inner curve, we are adding two centimeters. Reason because the outer curve cannot go over the center point. So the one centimeter is just to sew in the raw edge so that it does not flip over into another one circle. So cut into it. You can start cutting from anywhere, but our advice is start from one. Between one and eight, because here I have uh, no, I have ten. I have ten lines, so I've laid out my fabric so as not to have anything pulling out. Although, if any part of it pulls out, just use a paper tape to stick it back together. It's fine because whether we like it or not, at some point it will start pulling out. Part. But if you're not using different fabrics, it's advisable to have them in one piece. You can see this part pull it apart so add your seam allowances where you require one centimeter add where you require two centimeters you can add add that too you can decide to use your free hand after you've uh, mapped out where you want your seam allowance to be or you can decide to use your cup whichever one you're comfortable with is fine so now we've cut out the fabric now we're cutting the line. I decided to use contrasting fabric so you can see what I'm doing. So I decided to use a yellow fabric and blue lining. So that means sewing, sewing the um, eight, the one centimeter seam allowance. I've sewn it out. I trimmed off the excess. I decided to mark three centimeters there. Whatever is outside of the three centimeters, I cut it off. Then I take it to my sewing machine and did the top sewing there. We'll do that for every other piece. You sew the one centimeter side, trim off whatever excess you don't need. Anything above three centimeters, you don't need it there. So trim it off, ease up the curve and top stitch. Decide to snake into those curves and you can decide to use it whichever one is fine, whichever one works for you is good. Basic thing, we don't want any funny bulge around that curve. So now everything has been top sewn and then um, I've pressed them in place. So now let's lay them together using our aiming gun. Starting from 8, we place 7, starting from 10 rather, we place 9 over it, place any gum in that gap, the 2 centimeter gap, then place 9 over it and pin it in place, then to the next one, place your ending gum, place the next one over it, pin it in place. Do all that for every cut, leaving out the cut between 10 and 1. 
that's where we'll end it all. Also, you can't go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 in ascending order. No, you have to go in descending order from 10 to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, like that. So, everything all together, you take it for steam pressing. Just put that in place. Let's see if it's that's what the back view looks like. Done with the steam pressure now. Let's start sewing starting from 10 and 9. Sew the gap down from the face of the lining. We don't want any stitch showing on the outside, so the, the stitching has to be on the lining between the two. That's done move to the next please endeavor you um, take out any part of the last one I mean 10 that might be in your way because you don't want to sew any part of that down every other one has to be sewn down but that of 10 because that would go over one once we are done that has to be the last one that will be sewn in place So you start sewing from the middle, although you can start sewing from outside of those notch parts, then you finish it off into a pencil at the edge. So that the cut, whatever cut is at that edge, is not visible on the outside. So the process remains the same all the way till we get to the last one. So now let's get back to the gap between 1 and 10. We place our ending gun there, pin it in place, and still press it. You can decide to do more than 2 cm below. Whatever you want is what you can do there. But the line, the gap above is just the same allowance because you don't want the center to be covered. Once it's covered, everything cannot lay flat anymore. That's why we can't allow anything to flip to go over that center circle. So whatever it is you want to play around with, watch that center piece. That center part rather. Now it's doing steam pressed. Steam pressed down rather. Take out the pattern pieces also like before. Also, now let's trim off any excess that we don't need that seems to be peeping out. The boxes you have at the edge there, take it out. You don't need that. Also, you can decide to do a rainbow effect so that every every layer is a different fabric. As such, if you're doing that, you have to pieces the whole pattern and cut different, cut with different color of, colors of fabric or different types of fabric. So that's it all done and dusted. I look forward to seeing your own. In our next video, I wouldn't know what to do if it will be layered bamboo or layered spiral. I would love you to drop your suggestion in the comment section below. And prevent anything I did that was done earlier on is not clear. Drop your question below. I look forward to answering them all. Thank you very much for your time. See you in our next video. Bye bye.